Aries, keep it there, please. It is Scorpion Red Tarot. Yes, indeed, it is Mira. It is Shira. It is Vera. I am back in the building for the 2020. What's up, my babies? What's poppin', boo? Damn, Fat Man, Batman, he all the way back up in the cut. It's okay. It's okay. Y'all will be seeing him make his debut in 2020. His Not his debut, but his debut. Okay, girl? All right. <laughs> Listen, it is me. We are in the building in front of what energies we have surrounding us for January 2020. Yes, indeed, it is show me the money season. Y'all already know what time it is. Listen, if you guys are new to my channel, thank you so much for clicking that video. If you would like to, please make sure that you like, share, and subscribe. If you would like to book a personal and private reading with me, only thing you need to do is click that about tab. My booking page is there. If you have any questions or concerns, please make sure that you hit me up on Instagram and send me a link on Instagram anyway because that is where we where we will be um, conducting the video um, reading session. I always do my video reading sessions on either Instagram or Google Hangouts. And if you don't have an Instagram, only thing we need to do is do an exchange of email on the Google Hangouts app. And we can do the video chat on there. And um, we'll be all good to go. So um, if you guys want to send some support to the page, you can always support by clicking the like button and sharing if you care. Um, and uh, there's various ways to support. Um, uh, uh, what is it? Um. Amazon wish list is on the about tab. That's where you guys sent me the architects type uh, deck that we're going to be using today, as well as the in between tarot deck that you guys sent me for my birthday. So again, thank you to everyone who has been showing love, life, and support to my page, and it's been helping you know us grow and you know spread love and light and wisdom here. So as you know that we always do, we always say a prayer before we get into the energy. So let's get into this. Um, Father God, thank you so so very much for bringing us here for my Aries you know I love I love I love I love my Aries Father God thank you so much for you know just keeping us right there on our track on our path on our destination towards our blessings Father God we had a triumphant year in 2019 we took over and we shook up the table Father God you already know what we do you already know we Aries okay you already know five sides come bring the pain Father God okay <laughs> so Father, continue to keep us on our path and on our journey. Thank you so much. We're claiming victory and success right here, right now, right today. Over the rest of the year, 2020. 2020 has shown me the money time. It is money energy. We are focused on our foundations and our successes for the future, Father God. Please give us guidance for my Aries for January 2020. And thank you so much for all of the blessings and the lessons in the past, the present, and in the future. Yes, God, we thank you right now for the blessings that have yet to come in the future. We thank you and we are patient and we are waiting and we are determined for it. So, Father God, please give us guidance and wisdom today. Amen. All right. Yes, God. So, let's get into this, you guys. All right. Give me guidance for my Aries for January 2020. Thank you so much. That's a lot. That's a lot, child. That is a lot. That is a lot. That is a lot. Alright. So we got the prayer. We got the temple. What's it? What is this? Nasatos. I think that's how you say it. I said. Then, Natus, the Natus. I'm sorry, the Natus. My ass can't goddamn speak. Can't read the offering, the heart, and the arrows. Okay, so let me break this down real quick. I need to get a clarification because I have no, <laughs> no, no, no idea. <gasps> With n I don't even know how to pronounce this shit. Fuck it. Listen, listen. My ass on here sounding retarded like my dang got started. Okay. What the hell does that even mean? I haven't even seen this card yet. What does that mean? That must mean it's a place. 
What does this mean, y'all? Oh. It's an initiation. Oh, okay. That's like a, a major arcana. Thanatos. Oh, it means death. It means death. It means death, grieving, mourning, bearing witness to all that is. That's the death card. That's the death card. In Eros, that means... Love as desire, eroticism, sensuality. Hmm. So let's get into this. All right, now that I got the clarification. And then the spider web, the spider web here with this. Okay, so the prayer and then the temple. So right here, what I'm getting for my Aries is, is that you guys have been experiencing like a transition clearly you have the death card in here uh the natus the natos the natus however you pronounce it but this is the death card the spider web the spider web basically means just like being careful of the webs that we weave throughout our actions in life do you understand what i'm saying and what is this that's in the hand what is this? I don't even know what that is a picture of, baby. I don't even know what that is a picture of. I see hands, though. I see hands. And I don't know what this is. Y'all know what the heck that is, y'all. What I'm getting is, throughout your actions in life, like, we're creating our destiny. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, I feel like there has to be an ending to certain actions that we have been repeating throughout our cycles of life that has been just bringing us the same type of outcome that where we're constantly witnessing the same shit over and over again. I feel like there needs to be a depth to that. I feel like there has been... Um, a level of focus and praying and you guys trying to cleanse your temple i think you guys know that you guys have to ever like clean up your acts clean up your way of eating clean up your lifestyle it's something about the prayer in the temple where it's uh, because i'm seeing that that green that green to me means living a more rich and abundant in a healthier life it's something about you guys Praying for an ending in a rebirth in a more positive way because I feel like it's something about the actions that you've been taking in your life that was in 2019. You definitely are not carrying it over in 2020 and, and in 2020 you guys are focusing more on taking steps and taking action towards the progress of your new day of your new beginning of this rebirth. It's about you focusing more about focusing on your prayers and keeping your temple clean and paying attention to the webs that we weave. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because every action and every step that we take is cultivating the actions of the universe and the blessings that we have coming towards us. So if we're not moving and taking the correct steps and if we are uh, trying to entice, because if you think about a spider, a spider tries to entice and lure and, um, creatures for it to eat you know what i'm saying so i feel like it's about what is it that you're actually trying to cultivate and that you're trying to have grow around this temple because as you see you see these flowers and these uh you know vegetables herbs or whatever this is growing around it's like what are you trying to have grow? What are you trying to capture? You know, what are you trying to capture into this new beginning, into this new life? You understand? Um, once you kind of fine tune that and get that together and clean up your act, clean up your environment, clean up the way that you're walking, the web and the, and the, and the, and the, and the environment, because a spider's web is their environment. Once you clean up the web and the environment, I feel like that's when the offering is going to come to you. You understand what I'm saying? Because it's an exchange of hands. Do you understand? You see all of these hands? It's something about hands. Like, hands and off 
like your old existence and saying I'm done with that I'm ready to create this new existence and then God said okay well now that you're ready to do that let me offer you this let me send you an offering and you might have given an offering you might have sacrificed something that was something that you always that was a ritual for you you know what I'm saying your ritual could be you hanging out with your friends on the weekends getting drunk and high and fucking bitches and doing hood rat shit with your hood rat friends and you might have sacrificed that as an offering and say you know what well, God you know what I don't need this no more I'm gonna give this to you you know what I'm saying because I don't want to carry that that's not what I'm trying to attract I'm not trying to lure that type of environment or the type of creatures because you got to think about it your habitat with your where you're going to attract certain type of creatures to your web based on what you're trying to lure it in with. Do you understand what I'm saying? And it's like, well, I'm trying to attract to something different. You understand what I'm saying? So my offering this time might look a little bit different than what I was placing in my web to attract whatever it is that I needed for my nourishment you understand what I'm saying you're trying to attract something else that's why you're offering something a little bit different this time you're offering your heart this time you're offering your heart I feel like maybe in the past uh I feel like it was something about an unhealthy lifestyle because this, this is a lot about you praying about cleansing your temple it's a lot about you praying about cleansing your temple ending the way that you used to walk and what you used to try to attract in life wanting to offer something else which is your heart look because you see this person on this boat they're rolling in you want something else to come in you want something else to come in and this we just clarified with the euros and it's even about your speech i really do feel like because every time i always have to clarify this card because the way I read this card as a reader based on what the book says is a little bit different, but I've, I always feel like the book, what it has to say, it does resonate with where I'm going with what I feel from this card. My card is speaking positive energy over your life. I feel like that's one of the big problems that Aries has. A lot of Aries have this victim mentality someone did this to me because people did this this is why i did this and this is why i act like this and blah 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 and blue 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 it's a lot of excuses a lot of times it's a lot of explaining it's a lot of blaming it's a lot and i'm not trying to offend any aries i'm being 100 because one of my best friends is the aries and i have a lot of aries in my life do you understand i've dated a lot of aries do you understand it's a lot of talk and one of the things that I always try to explain is if every time someone asks you a question, well, what, what do you want to do with your life? I want to do this, but because so-and-so did this, this, and that, blah, 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 I haven't been able to focus on my future, boop, 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 And if I ask you all that shit. Stop trying to always seem like you a victim to something. Like, stop that shit. Because you do not, you always have to feel a reason to explain how you were victimized or someone. That's why a lot of blessings have not been offered to you. Because I feel like there's a lot of excuses. There's a lot of victimizing. There's a lot of, there's a lot of unnecessaries being offered and that's why it's it that has to do with you cleansing your temple it has to do y'all have to and i'm sorry aries i'm not trying to get on you but that has a lot to do with the webs that you weave you have to speak blessings on your life diamonds do you understand what i'm saying you have to allow yourself to live and thrive in the passions of life do you understand what i'm saying like to dig deep, like to get nasty, to really get in the essence of what the fuck you want. Stop focusing on all that other shit. Don't nobody give a fuck about your excuses. Don't nobody give a fuck about all that other shit. What spirit and what you are trying to attract right now, you, instead of speaking jewels into your life, you going back and talking about other shit is going to 
continue to attract the shit that you're trying to get rid of. And that's what you have to, that, that, that's literally what the cleansing the temple is. It's about offering love, only speaking love, only speaking blessings. Do not bring up nothing in the past. Do not say what well, so-and-so did this. Do y'all have to stop that? You understand? You really, 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 really on a high level have to stop that. And that's a part of cleansing the temple. That's a part of cleansing the temple. Being at peace. Really finding growth. You understand? If you're finding growth, you're not having to bring up a story or explain anything. Or, no, this is what it is. Whoop, whoop, whoop. This is what I want. Ain't no but this, 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 and that. You understand what I'm saying? Like, stop. Like, backfiring on your own blessings. As soon as you say a but, this, this, uh, uh and you start doing all that, it's going to cast a dim light over everything it is that you were trying to speak blessings on and achieve because instead of you speaking influential influence into the blessing, you're talking about what you don't want versus what you want to have and what you want it to be. you focusing more on the negative versus the jewel. Do you understand? Speak blessings. Cleansing the palette, cleansing the tools. We got the judgment in the reverse. There could be there could be a moment in your life that's coming up where you might be forced to recognize or address a certain level of um a character flaw, like a lack of judgment. It's like you could put yourself in unsavory situations sometimes. You understand what I'm saying? And it could be by the things that you say or um I feel like I feel like it's I feel like you People don't understand how powerful the tool of the of the of the of their voice of their throat chakra is. Um, that's just like saying, like, if you wanted to tell someone I love you, just tell them I love you. Don't be like, I love you, but I already know, like, you don't really feel the same about me, so I don't even know why I said it, but you know what I'm saying? I, I do love you. Like, don't do that. You understand what I'm saying? It's like, I feel like it's, it's a lack of judgment on... The things that you say and you're not realizing how it really does manifest energy. Because, listen, diamonds give off energy. Crystals, all that shit, it gives off energy. That's why I got this big crystal ball right here. It gives off energy. It, it actually sucks in energy. Do you understand what I'm saying? So it's like... I feel like where this... Judgment in the reverse comes into, I feel like it's a lack of recognition. You not really recognizing how you fail to um, attract the right things in your life based off of the things that you're feeding your temple and the things that you say out of your life. And even possibly the way that you um, go towards your passions in life. Like maybe sometimes... You might do some underhanded things or you might do something. You know what I'm saying? Or if you guys are dealing with any type of court battles or something like you might lose a judgment because of previous actions or you just being in court and not knowing how to shut the fuck up. You understand what I'm saying? Like you allowing your passions to eat you like you trying to speak your heart so much you understand what i'm saying not knowing when to stop you understand what i'm saying like it's about this mouth it's about this mouth it's a lot to do with this mouth this mouth and it's like you you feeling like you not getting you you ever not getting a fair judgment and i feel like you need to stop speaking on that and you're never going to get the fair judgment if you don't start speaking better blessings into your life the nine of coins the nine of coins means like recognition of hard work like you being successful in you know like business endeavors and things like that um like 
people wanting to be around you because of the fact that you can pull things together and that you're successful and that um, you can make a lot of leaps and bounds, uh, advances in finances and careers and things. So it's like you have a lot of, you have a leader's mentality. You have a very independent uh, personality. Um, what is this right here? The Page of Wands. Um, it's like you're very passionate about this new beginning and everything like that. But I feel like the only downfall is you feeling like you're always getting the short end of the stick and thinking it and always saying it. Something, listen, the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor. Do you understand what I'm saying? Uh, even it's like, it's like. This is like a desert here. This is a desert. I feel like that's what I'm saying. It's like there's been a level of just scarcity. Desert dryness. I don't know if it has to do with your personality being real dry or some shit like that. It has something to do with it has something to do with dry. Has something to do with dry. And you accepting truth. This judgment. It's like, okay. In order for this. In order for this new beginning. This, this, this depth. This transition. Everything that happened in your life. I feel like you need to accept the judgment. Because. It's really a fair judgment. It really is a fair assessment on you. It's like no one is trying to like say anything bad about you. But it's like you got to change the way that you speak on things in your life. What is this? The Seven of Cups. It's like there's a lot of options that are going to be presented to you and it looks like one rare rose is going to be given to you and I feel like you need to be you need to be knowledgeable enough to know how precious it is and to keep it and to cherish it and take care of it um, the Seven of Cups normally represents uh, someone with a lot of options. But here it seems like it's someone presented with one option. But they're moving into the Eight of Cups where it seems like they, they, they I don't know if they dropped the cup. Whatever the choice is, it's like they're dropping it and they're running away. Because the Eight of Cups means someone dropping it and it is leaving everything behind. You know what I'm saying? So, I feel like that is saying whatever the confusion that was in your life previously that created this dry desert, this habitat, um, I feel like before... I feel like because of the temple not being clean and pure. You ending the way you go about trying to attract things and the offering that you're putting out. And now you're offering your heart. I feel like before um, you used to make bad decisions based on the options that were given to you. And because of that and the outcomes... I feel like the Wheel of Fortune is coming into your favor now. The Page of Wands. The Page of Wands represents someone graduating a stage of their life. And they're going into a new endeavor. They're like they're passionate about a new beginning in life. Like you graduated college. Now you're ready to start your life as a man or as a woman. You understand what I'm saying? You feel blessed and you feel fortunate for it. You feel like you have succeeded and you have a lot of options. Do you understand what I'm saying? And now you have... The chance to make the choice like but this time the right choice this time the right choice so it's like you got to put your heart into it and you have to really be passionate about it and speak blessings into your life and change your offering and 
in whatever insecurity it was whatever insecurity it was i feel like whatever judgment that had been cast down on you it's going to make you successful in the end like you know what i'm saying i feel like you just need to kind of accept the judgment and look at it and take it for what it is because i don't feel like anyone is telling you anything that isn't any truth like if the only thing i really see is that you you speaking blessings into your life because if you don't speak blessings into your life as the will of fortune turns into your favor you're not going to see it as a blessing you want to get confused by options and you want to leave the right thing on the ground and you want to run away with it and search for something better because you think that there's more out there you understand what i'm saying and you might possibly run away from the wrong thing and then once realization hits you you know what i'm saying once realization hits you, then there, then there goes that that chatter that I'm a victim. Things not working out in my favor. And, and, and why me? Why does it never happen to me? But it's like, you know, about fixing up a paradigm in order for the wheel to turn in your life. You know what I'm saying? For blessings. For you to be able to see it and not be confused by it. It's about really putting your heart on the table, offering your heart, offering blessings, speaking blessings into your life, not bad stuff. You understand what I'm saying? Literally just offering your heart and positive reinforcements with your words. You know what I'm saying? Like, even though in both of these cards, in the Wheel of Fortune and and it's seven of cups. It looks desert dry. You know what I'm saying? But it looks like there's something growing out there. Something rare. Something beautiful. Do you understand what I'm saying? So. If the temple isn't pure. If. The web. Isn't attracting the right thing. If you're not offering the right thing. If your heart isn't balanced. If you're not speaking right things into your life. The prayer isn't going to amount to anything because you're just going to run right past it do you understand what i'm saying and you can't blame anyone for your lack of judgment do you are you following me okay listen the table gathering it was in the reverse though do you understand what i'm saying so um and i'm not really getting this in the reverse so what i'm getting here is yes i am you need to clean the table so it's like it's time to clean the table because God is gathering up resources for you. You understand? These things that you're trying to attract, these things that you love, that you're committed to, you're committed to your passions. You're being driven by your passions. You're speaking blessings into your life based off of your passions and what you're offering to life and what you want life to offer to you. You're cleaning your temple. You're praying for better. Clean up the table. God, God is gathering the resources and... A more healthier, balanced meal for you. I, I really do feel like some of you guys need to change your eating habits. I feel like a, you, you, you can't think straight if you're eating trash all the time. You know what I'm saying? I feel like your table needs to be clean. God can't serve you blessings on a dirty environment. You understand what I'm saying? If you're trying to attract the wrong thing, God can't really give you... This, this this better living. You understand the door. The door is open for transition. Do you understand? It's time to walk through this door and transition finally into this blessing. The aroma. There's going to be sweet memories that you can remember of when your life was more balanced. When your life was better. When things were shaped and molded in a fashion where things worked out for you. You know what I'm saying? Once you walk through this door, I feel like not only is it going to be the aroma and memories of nostalgia. And I feel like it's a nostalgia of a place that you were in in a 5D. Like, have you ever been in a dreamland? Like, and like certain things that like, happen to you in 3D and like in real life. And you feel like, I feel like I've been here before. I feel like I've experienced this before. There's going to be like a, like a deja vu like aroma because it's like i'm finally because i know i know what it would feel like for me like if i was to wake up tomorrow and, and my life was to just be everything that i ever hoped for ever dreamed 
I know what that feeling's like because I every time when I go to sleep and and I'm in that dream world, I know what it feels like. If I was to wake up to the, right now and be in that place and that feeling, I know. Even I had an experience, I have experienced before because it's been everything that I've ever dreamed for. You know what I'm saying? So it's like sweet memories of listen, satisfaction. Finer things come with wine. Do you understand what I'm saying? Wine ages and becomes finer with Lord Jesus, why the hell can I talk? Age ages. Aging fine refines the wine. Do you understand what I'm saying? It gives you the satisfaction in life. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, what is this dreaming? Yeah, like what I'm saying is like, literally, it's like being able to experience your dreams in the 5D in real life in the 3D. But you got to clean your palate. You got to stay focused on the vision of the prayer. You got to change what you're attracting and how you're attracting the things. It's like, it's like, it's like I know you got in good intentions, but it's how you're going about certain things might not be cool. You understand what I'm saying? So that's like, all right, say that you meet somebody that you feel like is the love of your life. You understand? Like someone that is beautiful, like... If I if, if I could picture who I wanted to be with, my dream girl, listen, my dream girl or my dream man, it would be like him or it would be like her. But say this person that gives you this nostalgic memory says, say this him or her that gives you these memories and stuff like that. Where you're in this dreamland and stuff like that and your dissatisfaction and stuff like that. Say this person might have another lover. You understand what I'm saying? Now, would it be good judgment for you to open up the door to being with someone that has another lover and you will be the other even though it feels right? You know what I'm saying? Because you you, you feel this moment of nostalgia. Would that, would that be you making the right decision? Do you understand what I'm saying? The Seven of Cups is about choices and about decisions. You understand what I'm saying? So, I don't want you to run past the rare flower, the one that you should have running towards something that you think, you understand, that might be that thing of satisfaction. Because at the end of the day, if there's any level of temptation or lack of judgment or, you know, if there's any level of bad decision making here and you feed into it, you can't be mad at the judgment that happens to you if things don't turn out in your favor. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like spirit was giving you blessings in your favor. You understand what I'm saying? Was giving you blessings at the in your favor. You can't just make hasty decisions just because things are dry. Like... You got to offer the right things out there. And you got to make sure that you're attracting the right thing. You understand what I'm saying? Just because that person seemed like it was the one. But if it comes with them having someone else on the side or someone else that comes before you, then clearly that's not the, that's not the cup. You might need to run right past that one. Do you understand what I'm saying? Even though it might shine, it might be glimmering, it might be glowing, that's not the right option because at the end of the day, it's going to cause bad repercussions, bad karma that's going to come to you because you're going to have to answer to it eventually. Do you understand what I'm saying? So what I'm feeling like here, you guys knowing how to make the right decisions. Everything that glimmers ain't gold. Everything that glimmers ain't gold. And I feel like with this with this page of wands right here. This page of wands, I feel like everything that you've experienced, like you've graduated well enough to know better by now. Do you understand what I'm saying? You gotta know better enough by now. You can't you can't be like, oh, but that was the one. Why not me? I can't never have the one that I want. Blase, blase, blah. Because you could have just walked right past the one that was really for you. 
making the wrong decision based off of what you were attracting if your pot if your temple wasn't pure do you understand what i'm saying if your table wasn't pure you have to have a clean slate a clean palette do you understand what i'm saying you have to because you only want to track what you are so if if the will of fortune isn't turning in your favor because it's something about what you your actions what you're attracting in this web it's something about the temple. It's something about the offering. It's something about your heart. It's something about your passions and what comes out of your mouth. That is resulting in this judgment. Do you understand what I'm saying? You are successful. You are smart. You are courageous. You are ambitious. You understand what I'm saying? You did graduate and blessings are coming to you. You got to know. I feel like everything that glitters isn't isn't gold. You know what I'm saying? Everything isn't glitters isn't gold. You got to really pay attention to know what is worth the value and what you need to walk away from. God is gathering you together to bring you the sweet sense of everything that it was that you want. But I feel like you're still going to be tested with these seven of cups. You're still going to be tested. You're still going to be tested. You're still going to be tested. But this time I feel like you're going to walk away. When these options come to you, I feel like you're not going to say the wrong things no more. Like your heart, everything is going to be good. I feel like you're going to run away from the one that seems too good to be true. Because it's like I'm not trying to be the victim this time. I want satisfaction. I want the will of fortune. Like, I want the blessings. It's like, I want what I want, but I don't want it that way. Like, this is like this is someone that maybe in the past, like, you might have dealt with someone on the side. You might have did some underhanded shit to get something that you wanted. And things didn't turn out in your favor. And even though you feel like the victim, you learn to, to stop speaking like that. Because you know what you did. And you realize that web, the tangle web that we weave, is you realize that and you realize your pilot now. Now you want to get everything that you dream because you know to walk away now. Because good things don't come to you like that. Like blessings don't come to you like that. You know what I'm saying? There was a, a saying I heard a long time, God would never bless you with someone else's man. And I'm just using that as an example because sometimes people fall into this dream world, into this illusion. They meet someone and it's like, oh, this is the one that I dreamed about. I feel like this is deja vu. This is like da 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 But this person is coming with baggage. This, this, this person is coming with karma. Being able to make the decision to walk away and... To know and to continue to speak. Being, being able to continue to speak. This one was not the one for me. The one that I am attracting is right around the corner. This was a test. And I think that that's what this one is, is, is realizing. You understand? God got something bigger for me. Let me run away. Because this person is it dropped that cup and it left that pretty rose behind. You know what I'm saying? Mm. God is gathering you because you're about to walk into that door and you're going to get that exact aroma, that exact taste that you wanted, that exact high that you were feeling when you were in the dreamland. You're going to get it, but you got to learn how to walk away and stop feeling like someone goddamn did something to you and take and acknowledge, you know what I'm saying, when you just made wrong decisions and stop making them and pay attention to the webs that you're weaving. Okay, what is it saying? Presence. There's going to be a gift that is going to be given to you very soon. And this is the night. <laughs> this is the nine of clubs. The nine of clubs means like a promotion, like a success or advance in your work you being acknowledged at work you being given like a bonus or promotion at your job or something like yeah a gift a widow so it's like all right with that whole explanation that i did before so it's like all right 
you in love with this woman. I feel like before you learn in your past to even if you feel like this person is your soulmate and you feel like y'all met each other in a past life with someone, this one is the one. But this one is already in a relationship with someone. Even though I know that this one is the one for me. It's something deep in my soul. I feel that. I know the situation ain't right right now. Let me walk away. So happy. So have it be. Do you understand what I'm saying? That this person ends up breaking up with whoever the fuck they... It with and it says widow, but I'm not necessarily taking it as a death, but it could just mean that there was a death, there was an ending to a relationship. Because you made the decision, the correct decision, you understand, to not do the woe is me, why not me? Why I can't never be the chosen one? This this is that because you still had other things going on for you with this Nine of Pentacles. Because with this Page of Wands, you still were passionate. You were still, like, invigorated by your passions. And you'll want to still want and need love and, and, and a new beginning. You wasn't going to let that stop you. You know what I'm saying? You said, this ain't for me. I'm just going to keep going. Instead of feeling like a victim. You know what I'm saying? Because you did that, so happens. Your dream might come true. You might be presented. You might be gifted with this person breaking the hell up with whoever the hell they with and being widowed. You understand what I'm saying? And now that door might be open for you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you ain't got to double back. It's about to double back around to you. Let's, let's see what's going on. What's the outcome? What is this? Flatter. <laughs> A dark haired man. So, <laughs> boy, that's why I'm trying to tell you, like, I feel like whatever this is that you've been praying for, you're trying to cleanse yourself, you're trying to attract the right thing. It's like you're really trying to put yourself out there and you're trying to offer love. And you want love to offer yourself, offer itself to you. And you're very passionate. And you're very passionate about something or somebody. But it's the way that you go about it. You understand what I'm saying? Like, it's not worth making the lack of judgment call. Because you got so much going for you. You understand what I'm saying? Please don't play the victim and don't speak victimness in your life. Because you will always be a victim. Because that's all you're talking about. That's all you're saying. It's about how you never get chose, how things never work out for you, and they're never going to work out for you as long as you're going to continue to claim victimhood over your life. Once you stop that and you make the right decisions with your actions, God is going to give you a gift. Something that you don't even see coming is because you're doing good work. The nine of clubs means recognition from good work. Do you understand what I'm saying? This person is going to end up all alone anyway. And you ain't even going to have to do nothing or sneak around or do nothing. Like you did the honorable thing and this person ended up being alone so that <laughs> you could come back around and offer yourself and try to flatter them or them try to flatter you. You understand what I'm saying? And whoever it is... It's a dark haired man. Do you understand what I'm saying? So it seems like things are going to work out in your favor anyway. So I just want you to like continue to speak blessings over your life. Continue this. What's under this deck? Chattering. 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 So, I mean, you guys might be the talk of the town. You guys might be the talk of the town. And with this right here, I feel like in the past, I feel like in the past there was a lot of, like, immaturity. There was a lot of immaturity and there was a lot of decisions based off of hurt feelings. You understand? Because I'm not getting my way. And I feel like that's the thing that needs to change. I feel like a lot of people... I feel temper tantrum, like, I feel temper tantrum. I feel like the one thing that Aries needs to work on is temper tantrum. I feel like that's the thing that people talk about with you is your temper tantrums. But the seven of diamonds represents, like, a lucky win, um, 
a big purchase like a big financial push in advance like a gift do you understand what i'm saying a gift something based off of someone's action someone get, being gifted based off of someone's work ethic you understand what i'm saying i feel like you guys are really cleaning up i feel like you guys are really cleaning up um even though i feel like with this chatter right here, I feel like there has been some harsh criticisms from you. And it could be from two old women in your life that's been trying to force you to change with this nine right here. That's like you changing cycles. You ending like, man, you got to stop this temper tantrum. Like, you've been doing that since you were young. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, can't nobody give nothing to you if you always acting like a victim. You know what I'm saying? Don't nobody want to give nothing to you if you always complaining about shit. It's like, it's like somebody... It's talking about a time when I feel like you used to be immature and always feeling like wrongs were done to you. Or maybe they were wrongs always done by you. It's just like I have a childish behavior or just childish reactions. You know what I'm saying? I feel like that's the thing that. It's being spoken to you that you need to change, you need to end. And like once you do it, like you're going to get a major blessing with that seven of diamonds. You're going to get a big advance in life and a lot of financial security. A lot of financial security. You're going to get the woman that you want. You're going to be flattered. Um, and even with this, with this knight of clubs, this knight of clubs right here represents someone that is willing to put their title on their sleeve so it's like they're willing to put the work in they're willing to do whatever that they need to do to ensure that all of the business is taken care of do you understand what i'm saying so um and then this this right here this ace of um this i mean not this ace of uh, uh this this queen of space that does represent a widow that does represent a widow this could be someone that you could be dealing with someone that's exotic or might be from another country or they look like they're mixed or from another country or not from your your land, your country or something like that. You understand what I'm saying? But anyway, um, this dark haired man, this is the this is the knight of, of, of spades. The knight of spades is not necessarily a good card. That's why I'm saying I feel like to some level, maybe in the past, like. The Aries was doing something where it was a little underhanded, little conniving, slick shit that wasn't cool to get what they want. That's what the page. That's what the page. Uh, I mean, not, not not the page, but that's what the um the knight or the, I'm sorry, the jack of uh a spades is like the jack of spades is someone that. Do whatever the hell that they need to do to get what they want. They don't care about how underhanded, how slick. Like, they'll they'll do it. You understand what I'm saying? But it's someone that's relentless. That I want what I want by any means necessary. I'm going to get it. It's someone that's very smart, very intelligent, very quick-witted. You understand? But with what has been displayed on this table, this is someone realizing that... Um, you kind of got to be a little bit more suave, a little bit more debonair. You can attract more bees with honey. You understand what I'm saying? Like, you don't necessarily have to do all of that underhanded shit to get what you want. Just sit around and wait and allow the shit to fall into your lap. As long as you are doing the right things and you being clean, clean and pure in your attentions, you can attract exactly what you want and get exactly what you want. You understand? You don't have to soup low. So anyway, Aries, I love you. This has been your reading. Click that like button. Um, like, share, subscribe if you want to book with me. Go ahead and um, click the about tab and all my booking is there. If you have any questions or concerns, email me at scorpionreds at gmail.com or send me a message on Instagram. Peace.